Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training channel. Have you ever wondered why you are the way you are? What makes you unique, distinct, and different from those around you? Welcome to the fascinating world of personality psychology. So, what is personality? In the simplest of terms, personality encapsulates the characteristic patterns of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that define an individual and differentiate them from others. It's like a fingerprint, unique to every person, and it remains relatively consistent throughout life. Think of it this way. If you were a painting, your personality would be the brushstrokes that give you color, depth, and texture. It's what makes you, you. Now let's delve a bit deeper. In psychology, defining personality isn't as simple as looking at the dictionary definition. It's a complex and multifaceted concept, with various theories and perspectives offering unique insights. The trait theory, for instance, suggests that personality is a combination of specific traits or qualities, like extroversion or conscientiousness, that remain consistent over time and across situations. Imagine these traits as the building blocks of your personality, each one contributing to the overall structure. On the other hand, the psychoanalytic theory, pioneered by Sigmund Freud, views personality as a dynamic system of unconscious desires and conflicts. It's like an iceberg, with a significant portion hidden beneath the surface, influencing our behavior in ways we may not fully understand. Then there's the humanistic theory, which emphasizes personal growth, self-actualization, and the pursuit of fulfillment. Carl Rogers, a prominent figure in this field, believed that our personalities are shaped by our drive to experience life in a way that is congruent with our self-image. And let's not forget the social cognitive theory which suggests that our personalities are shaped by the interplay of our thoughts, social interactions, and environment. It's like a dance, where our thoughts, behaviors, and experiences influence each other in a dynamic, ongoing process. In summary, personality is a complex, multi-dimensional concept that encompasses our characteristic patterns of thought, emotion, and behavior. It's shaped by a myriad of factors, from our individual traits to our unconscious desires, our pursuit of personal growth, and our interactions with the world around us. Each theory offers a unique lens through which to understand personality, shedding light on the intricate tapestry of factors that make us who we are. So the next time you ponder why you are the way you are, remember this. Your personality is a masterpiece, shaped by a myriad of influences, and it's as unique as you are. And next we see Allport's definition. What does personality mean to be an individual? How does one's personality shape their actions, their thoughts, and their interactions with the world? These are the questions that psychologist Gordon Allport sought to answer with his definition of personality. Diving into the deep ocean of Allport's theory, it's like unboxing a complex puzzle. Each piece, each idea, adds to the broader picture of what it means to be human. Allport theorized that each individual has a unique, distinctive pattern of habits, traits, and concepts, which in combination, captures their personality. Unraveling this definition, the first element is the unique, distinctive pattern. This means that each person's personality is like a fingerprint. No two are exactly the same. Even identical twins with the same genetic makeup will have differences in personality due to their unique experiences and perceptions. The second part of Allport's definition is habits, traits, and concepts. These are the building blocks of personality. Habits refer to our consistent behaviors, whether it's the habit of reading a book before bed or always drinking a cup of coffee in the morning. Traits, on the other hand, are inherent characteristics that drive one's behavior, such as being introverted or extroverted, analytical or creative, calm or anxious. Concepts the final piece of this trinity, are the mental constructs we use to understand the world around us, such as our beliefs, values, and attitudes. The last part of Allport's definition is in combination. This suggests that our personality isn't just a random assortment of habits, traits, and concepts. Instead, they are all interconnected, influencing and being influenced by each other. Like a well-orchestrated symphony, each part plays its role to create the overall melody that is our personality. So to summarize, Allport's definition of personality is a unique, distinctive pattern of habits, traits, and concepts, all working in tandem to create the multifaceted individuals we are. It's an intricate dance of elements, each one contributing to the unique person you are.
Allport's definition is a testament to the complexity and individuality of human beings. It's a reminder that each person is more than a collection of traits, more than their habits, and more than the concepts they hold. Each person is a unique combination of all these elements, creating a distinctive pattern that is their personality. It's a fascinating exploration into the human psyche, one that offers a deeper understanding of what it means to be an individual. It's a journey into the heart of identity, into the very essence of who we are. It's a testament to the uniqueness of each individual, to the distinctive pattern of habits, traits and concepts that make us who we are. And so the next time you find yourself pondering the question, what makes me, me? Remember Allport's definition. Remember the unique, distinctive pattern of habits, traits and concepts that combine to create your personality. Remember the intricacy and the beauty of your individuality. Because in the end, understanding ourselves is the first step to understanding the world around us. Now let us discuss about nature of personality. Have you ever wondered why you are the way you are? Why you react in a certain way to situations? Or why you form the connections you do? It all boils down to your personality, the very essence of your being, the sum total of your actions, thoughts, and feelings. But what exactly shapes this personality? Well, that's what we are here to explore today. First, we'll delve into the depths of the psychodynamic theory, pioneered by none other than Sigmund Freud. This theory posits that our personality is the result of our unconscious mind, a reservoir of feelings, thoughts, urges, and memories that are outside of our conscious awareness. Freud proposed that our behavior and feelings as adults, including psychological problems, are rooted in our childhood experiences. Next on our journey, we encounter the trait theory. This perspective suggests that our personality is made up of a number of broad traits, a pattern of behavior, thoughts, and emotions. According to this theory, each individual has a unique combination of traits, which remain fairly consistent throughout life. Following the trait theory, we come across the humanistic theory. This theory emphasizes personal growth, self-actualization, and the concept of self-identity. Carl Rogers, one of the pioneers of this theory, believed that every person has the potential to achieve their goals, wishes, and desires in life. Lastly, we'll touch upon the social cognitive theory, which suggests that our personality is formed through learning, observing others, interacting with the environment, and experiencing consequences of our actions all contribute to our personality. We've just taken a whirlwind tour of four significant theories of personality in psychology. The psychodynamic theory, which emphasizes the role of the unconscious mind and early childhood experiences. The trait theory, which suggests our personality is a combination of various traits. The humanistic theory, which highlights the importance of self-actualization and personal growth. And finally, the social cognitive theory, which posits our personality is shaped by learning and experience. But remember, these theories aren't mutually exclusive. They all offer unique insights into the complex nature of personality. It's the interplay of these theories, and many more that shape who we are, how we behave, and how we interact with the world around us. So, the next time you wonder why you are the way you are, remember it's a complex blend of unconscious thoughts, traits, personal growth, and learning experiences that make you uniquely you. The Functions of Personality have you ever pondered the intricate complexities of your personality and the roles it plays in your life? Today, we dive deep into the functions of personality, the invisible rudder that steers the course of our thoughts, actions, and interactions. At its core, personality serves four primary functions, to influence our interactions with the world, to shape our perceptions, to manage our personal adjustments, and to establish our identity. Firstly, personality influences our interactions with the world around us. It dictates how we react to different situations and how we relate to others. An extroverted personality, for example, might engage in lively conversations at a party, while an introverted personality might prefer a quiet corner with a good book. Secondly, personality shapes our perceptions. It acts as a lens through which we view the world. Our attitudes, beliefs, and values all find their roots in our personality. It's why two people can look at the same painting and have completely different interpretations. Thirdly, personality manages our personal adjustments. It's the tool we use to adapt to life's challenges. It helps us cope with stress, deal with adversity, and bounce back from setbacks. 
A resilient personality, for instance, will view obstacles as opportunities to grow, while a less resilient one might see them as insurmountable barriers. Lastly, personality establishes our identity. It's the unique combination of traits that differentiate us from others. It's what makes us who we are, setting us apart in a world of 7 billion people. In summary, personality serves a multifaceted role in our lives. It influences our interactions, shapes our perceptions, manages our adjustments, and establishes our identity. It's the unseen force that guides our journey through life, shaping our experiences and defining our existence. But remember, while our personality may guide us, it doesn't define us completely. We have the power to shape and mold our personalities, to grow, learn, and become the best versions of ourselves. So the next time you find yourself pondering the complexities of your personality, remember its functions and the important role it plays in your life. As we wrap up, consider this. What aspects of your personality are serving you well? And which ones might need a little tweaking? How does your personality influence your life? And how might understanding its functions help you navigate your journey? In the grand scheme of life, understanding the functions of personality can provide a roadmap to self-awareness and personal growth. It's an intriguing exploration of the self, a journey that promises to be as fascinating as it is enlightening. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and above all, keep being you. After all, you are the only you there is. And if you feel this video is helpful, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Psychology and Physical Training channel. Thank you for watching.